Dr. Paul Mason, wild fatty fish and fish oil can raise our omega-3 to omega-6 ratio to reduce UBB skin cancer risk. I want to now move on to one of my favorite topics, omega-3, found in fish oil. In this study, 15 volunteers took high doses of fish oil for up to six months, and the effect was significant. So effectively, that meant that you could spend twice as long in the sun without getting burnt. And there's another benefit of omega-3 fat supplementation which is very relevant to skin cancer, and that's got to do with the immune system. It can also play a role in identifying and neutralising abnormal cancer cells. So anything that leads to impairment of the immune system potentially increases the risk of cancer. So the immune suppressant effect of UV on the skin is really significant when it comes to skin cancer. And in this study, they explored the <coughs> immune suppressing effect in people taking fish oil and those without. It was a study of 79 females. And what they found was a significant reduction in the immune suppressing effect in those who took fish oil for three months. And this is a combined meta-analysis and systematic review on the risk of skin cancer and omega-3 supplementation. And it found that the consumption of high levels of omega-3 fats was associated with a 48% risk reduction in melanoma. And it's at this point of the story I'd like to introduce a villain. This is vegetable oil, except it doesn't come from vegetables. It comes from seeds. The problem is vegetable oils are very rich in omega-6 oils. Omega-6 oils are shown here in yellow. And you can see that vegetable oils, by and large, have very large quantities of them and, correspondingly, very small volumes of omega-3s, shown in orange. And the problem is that omega-6 fats are quite harmful in skin cancer. They increase the production of, among other things, something called the series 2 prostaglandins. And these increase the inflammation and carcinogenic expression within the skin in response to ultraviolet exposure. Omega-6 increases inflammation and carcinogenic expression in skin during UVB exposure. Omega-3 fats, on the other hand, they lead to the production of series 3 prostaglandins, which inhibit these processes. Omega-3 inhibits inflammation and carcinogenic expression in skin during UVB exposure. And if we increase our omega-6 level, well, this leads to a reduction in our omega-3 level. If we increase our omega-6 level, this leads to a decrease in omega-3 level. Let's take a look now at how we can use the relationship between omega-3 and omega-6 to our advantage. This was from a dietary intervention study. No supplements were used, just changes in diet. And in this part of the study, participants were placed on a low omega-6 diet, the kind without vegetable and seed oils, no margarine. Let's first of all look at the omega-3 index shown here in white. And what we can see is that over 12 weeks, the omega-3 fat EPA in our red blood cells increased by 21%. And if we have a look at the omega-6 levels in red, we can see there's a corresponding reduction of 26%. All in all, that's not too bad, but it's not amazing either. Let's see what happened when we increased the omega-3 intake. Now we see a massive increase of omega-3 of 271% and nearly double the reduction in omega-6 of 50%. And remember, these changes occurred with diet alone. No supplements were used. A high omega-3 diet can significantly reduce the levels of omega-6 in our system. So the combination of both reducing omega-6 and increasing omega-3 is very effective and almost certainly will help to protect from some of the damage caused by ultraviolet B radiation. So let's recap what we've covered today. The UVA radiation from sunshine releases nitric oxide, which seems to be associated with a mortality benefit. It's mainly ultraviolet B radiation that causes sunburn and most of the skin cancer risk. And we can reduce our exposure to UVB while still getting enough UVA by exposing ourselves to the sun when it's lower in the sky. And getting the right balance between omega-6 fats and omega-3 fats seems to be incredibly beneficial reducing our risk of melanoma and also increasing our resistance to sunburn. So in closing, 
appropriate sunshine exposure is actually good for our health. And militantly avoiding it probably causes more harm than good. UVA releases nitric oxide, which has a mortality benefit. UVB causes sunburn and skin cancer risk. So we should expose ourselves to sun when our shadow is longer than us. And we should get the right balance between omega-3 and omega-6 oils.